James Edward Loftus is a 46-year-old man from Goose Creek, South Carolina, who is being charged with double murder. The victims are a taxi driver named Guma Oz Dubar and his friend who was with him at the time, James Cody Newland. So the facts as we know them is that the taxi driver and his friend picked up uh, Loftus from a strip club and drove him home. At some point, the, they all go into uh, Loftus's home and Loftus shoots them uh, and kills them. Okay, so according to Loftus, they broke into the home because they were demanding the fare for the taxi ride. And so they broke in and Loftus shoots him dead because they're invading his home. Yeah, now. he got scared. Yeah, he was scared for his life. Yeah, he got scared for his life. So now he's using uh, self-defense. He's using stand your ground. Mm-hmm. But it's a little bit more complicated than that. Yes. Yeah. So give us a little bit now, more details. Now, his initial statement was that he invited them in not that they broke in right um and after he shot them Mm -hmm. he then goes uh in his backyard and digs a hole a shallow grave and he places the two men that he just shot in those two holes and he proceeds to burn the bodies (laughs) as well as well as his bloody clothing. We're not done yet. Mm-hmm. He then goes back into the home and cleans it up with bleach. Getting rid of the evidence. Getting rid of, getting rid of all the evidence. Right. But he's saying that he is not guilty. He is saying that these two men broke into the home and he had to do what he had to do to protect <laughs> his safety. What his lawyer say? He's a human being. Yeah. So he said he freaked out and thought he was going to prison. So he tried to hide the bodies. Nobody knows how you're going to react when you kill two people. Yeah, yeah, no. You just don't know whether you're going to, you know, dig a grave and burn the bodies and go clean up bleach. You just never know when you're going to do that. I mean, that just comes over you, dude. <laughs> those are guilty actions. Those are, those are trying those to hide are, the that's crime. That's trying to hide something. Because, like, like, let's say that he is being completely honest about those two individuals coming into his home. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's just say he was scared for his life. Mm -hmm. Even if it wasn't, you know, being threatened, if somebody's in your home, you get a little antsy. Right. You're in a vulnerable position. Mm -hmm. So he goes and gets the gun and shoots them. Now, if it was self-defense, wouldn't Mm -hmm. you call the cops? Yes. Why would you have to get rid of the bodies and, and clean your place? All you would do was call the cops and say, these two men broke into the house. I had to do what I had to do. Mm-hmm. And I'm and pretty sure, I'm pretty sure whatever officers, because it'd probably be more than one mm-hmm. since it was, you know, uh, two people being killed. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure the officers would have given him the benefit of the doubt. Right. I'm pretty sure. Right. Now, look, look, sometimes when things happen, we know that even innocent people make mistakes you know to to make, make rash decisions yeah, rash moment. decisions to 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 not get hemmed up with charges or or anything like that even though they're innocent we know that but to go this far to burn bodies to hide bodies to get rid of all the evidence burn your clothes yeah to make it so that none of this happened bleach everything no, away sorry those those are guilty Do- actions. yes no, yes no, those no. are actions that lead me to believe he was not telling the truth yeah it seems as if if you're taking it that far, mm-hmm. that you're means hiding you're hiding something. Yeah. There's, a, and, there's a guilty conscience in there. And this whole stand your ground defense, this guy told the police conflicting statements. He said that they broke in, and he also said that he invited them in. That completely negates this stand your ground. I'm sorry. that No, you can't use that anymore. I don't see how you can use that anymore. And what evidence did they use to support his story? So his lawyer is saying that um, they can prove that uh, it was forced entry. It was forced entry because there's a size 12 footprint on the outside near the door, near the door handle. There's a size 12 footprint. So that. That and proves that blood within the door wedge. Yeah, with the door I'm jam assuming, or something like I, that. A door jam. Yeah. I'm assuming they mean like between like the frame yeah. and the edge of the yeah, door. I don't know exactly. I don't know. But they're saying this proves that somebody broke in. No. But but <laughs> if this guy Loftus can go so far 
to hide bodies, to burn, burn bodies, bodies and and bleach his whole place. Get rid of the dirty clothes and everything, right? Mm-hmm. If he can go that far, you think he can't kick in the door himself? Exactly. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think he wouldn't take a shoe? Yeah. And it was a it was one shoe print. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. You like like that's that's not like that's not feasible? Yeah. Come on, this guy went to extreme measures to hide whatever took place at his home. It, it's it's not the beyond the realm of possibility that he planted a footprint as well. It, that's not a far reach. No, no. 